Hey YouTube, today we've got another gun that I've been looking around for online and not been able to find much information. Uh, certainly not for this particular one that I've got in my hands. It's, uh, it's a Todd 66. It's a Russian coach gun with 20 inch barrels. It uh, made at the Tula factory in Russia. The thing that makes this one a little bit unique is that the, uh, the action, the hammers, they're all nickel plated and I haven't actually been able to even find a picture of a nickel plated one online and so the side by side shotguns they're uh, pretty common especially the TOS 66's and but usually they have a long, longer barrels so but so being a, a 20 inch barrel this one's classified as a coach gun and the reason why it's a coach gun is well back in the days of the west the wild west it was nice and easy to have a short shotgun beside your coach driver so that they could then bring it up and shoot somebody trying to rob a coach. I got sick and tired of people trying to rob my coach and so that's why I purchased this one. So with this one, to break the action we have this lever up on top, slide that to the right and it opens up. It does have extractors and not ejectors and we'll show you a little bit more about it. One other feature of this one is it actually has hammers. So you have to manually cock the hammers before you can fire the gun. So there's two triggers on this shotgun. The front trigger fires the right barrel. The rear trigger fires the left barrel. So this one, it's in pretty average sort of condition. I bought it a couple of years ago and I just thought because there's not too many of me around, I'd uh, do a video for you guys to enjoy. So, now let's take some shots with it. So, what we've got today, we've got a box of ammunition that's probably as old as me. And, and it certainly shows just by looking at it. So, we'll load some of this old stuff in and, and see how we go. I believe that this is Winchester Rangers number four. Some may fire, some may not. So, as you saw, I loaded it in, closed the action, cocked the hammers back, and now she's ready to fire. So, as you saw, it just extracted, but not ejected. So, we'll close it back up again, but no, we won't. So you have to manually pull each cartridge or each spent shell out. So we'll do the same thing again, same ammo. That was a bad flinch. All right, we had a misfire. Just so that we make sure that it's not a hang fire, I'm just gonna wait a while before I'll open up this action. About 30 seconds is generally long enough. There we go, that was our misfired round right there. So this one looks like number six and we've got some two by the look of it. Another misfire. Seems as though the right barrel. See how bad I flinch with a shotgun? <laughs> yep, she's out. Well, blue star. Come and have a look at some of this ammunition that we've got here. It's a big, a big box of a big mixed bag. Uh, all of this was just given to me, so I don't know what half of it is, but we'll shoot it off and see how we go with it. There we go. Certainly enough to send those 20 litre drums rolling around like there's no tomorrow. More unmarked shotgun. 
and some number fives. This little thing, it has got a hell of a little kick to it. Both barrels are a full choke, so if those of you understand what chokes are, you can understand why. <laughs> it bloody hurts. Okay, so I've got my brand new mini torso target over there. Let's put a few rounds on it. Use that second round had a hell of a lot more boot than the first. Some sixes, more six shot. There's enough fun with the mixed bag. What we've got here is some slugs, one ounce slugs. We'll, we'll see if we can land one on that, uh, on that torso. Whoa. Oh, we knocked it off its hinge. As you can imagine, after firing this many rounds, this barrel is starting to get really hot. Trying to hit my little gong. I don't know if I'm going to be as good as I was on the previous video and actually knock it flying. But we'll give it a good shot anyway. Yeah, we hit it that time. All right. The worst thing about doing this on video is everybody gets to see how much I flinch. We'll cock that one back and we'll see if we can get it to go. There we go. It went very high. Shooting very high. Let's put some more of this unknown stuff through the gun. We'll aim at the gong and see if we can get it to move. Certainly hit it twice. Oh, this stuff's tight. Give that one a miss. That one does go in. Oh, I got a few concrete blocks down here as well. Some early special trap. Once again with the flinching. We seem to be getting a lot of light strikes in that right chamber. We'll go back to some slugs. We'll see if we can smash that brick apart with them. Well, the first one smashed apart real good. All right, two more. We'll see how we go. There's another brick bites the dust. So yeah, there you have it. One very hot Toz 66. All of the engravings on this model are exactly the same as the other TOS 66s, but yeah, this one here is in, in nickel, which I have never seen another one of, even with all of my researching online. 
So as I said before, made it made in Russia at the Tula plant, the same plant that made Mosin Legans. And yeah, these are a, a pretty good shotgun. Here in Australia, a shotgun will set like this will set you back around about four hundred and fifty dollars. I believe that this one was made in the late sixties, around sixty seven, sixty eight, and yeah, it's it's a nice little shotgun. It's uh, easy to carry. Like let's just say you're around the farm, like we are here. It's easy to carry around. You know, put a sling on it. Put it around your shoulder. Put it over your shoulder and away you go. So, cool. Thanks for tuning in.